Hey YouTubers, Sapphire Saddles right here. I just got back from the <clears throat> sorry, I'm close. I just got back from the vascular clinic and then like I'm gonna have I can't even talk. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna have surgery <clears throat> on Monday. So it's coming up next Monday, because it's Monday today. Next Monday, sorry. <clears throat> I'm a little nervous, I guess you can tell. That's why I can't talk fully right now. But, um. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm nervous. Um. Excuse my apartment. It's a mess right now. Well, on the other side, it's a mess. <coughs> but, um. I had a talk of my surgeon today I had a consultation the team they look like I can really trust them and here's the plus side I told him what the surgeon you know the surgeon that I have first went to to get the fistula done in my arm here all he used was a block on my arm I forgot what it was called until you know uh, the current surgeon I was talking to today until he told me what it was and he said yeah He's like, typically with, with my patients, this is with my surgeon, Dr. T, <laughs> Dr. T, <laughs> like he told me, he said, typically with my patients, <clears throat> I use a, uh, use like full knockout, like with the anesthesia and everything. And so I told him, I was like, okay, that makes me feel better because, you know, during the last procedure I had, I woke up, I woke up during my procedure and I felt everything, you know, I was, I was in pain. You know, and the last surgeon I had, he didn't understand it. You know, he just thought I was just over exaggerating. And most of y'all <laughs> know me. I don't ever really exaggerate about anything. Usually, when, especially when it comes to my body, like my health, I don't try to over exaggerate things. It's like when I tell y'all what's going on with my health, I mean it fully. Like, I'm not a BS kind of person. If I tell y'all something in general, too, I'm not going to BS and be beat around the bush. If I tell you something you don't like, you don't like. If I tell you something that you can't stand, you won't stand it. Um, but anyway, he looked at me and he was like, he thought it was my mom. Like, he was like, oh, who's the one sitting in that chair, in the, in the patient chair? <clears throat> and he thought it was my mom that that was the victim. He was playing around. But my mom was like, no, it's me, you know. And he was like. You're young. How, wait, how old are you? You're not old, right? And I was like, I have that disease where it makes me look young. Nah, nah, nah. But then I was like, no, nah. I was like, I'm really just 22. And he was like, whoa. Like, you're the youngest patient, which I haven't heard. Haven't heard. He was like, you're like the youngest patient that we've had. But he's just like, he's like, has, it, eh, has anybody else told you that before? And I was like, yeah, many a times it's like, he was like, usually this place is for people who are walking with canes already. He's like, I never really see young patients come through here. And then that's when I told him, I said, yeah, it's my body. My body's not right right now. It's just, my body doesn't treat me good. <laughs> so here I am. Oh, my hair's all messed up on this side. Um, but uh, yeah, basically he said, We'll go ahead and fix up your fish so I'm going to try to and then you know that doesn't work then we're gonna set a new one and that's when I was like okay I'm like all right do your thing so I'm nervous but I keep moving the hair around I'm just so antsy right now he seemed like a good surgeon though I mean the doctor the nephrologist I have now is Dr. Uh, Harmon Ferriel so the doctor, the surgeon that he uh, recommended to me was Dr. T, and I can trust him. Like, you can tell, like, usually, would, like, when I first got the surgery done on my arm, I was very uh, skeptical, because it's, or the University Transplant Center, it's just like, it's always rush and bush, and like, nobody's ever really paying attention to what the hell the patients are saying. So when I found out that... My hair, my hair's all checked up. Um, when I found out that um, that these doctors are actually willing to take their time with me, that's when I realized 
Like, hey, I actually got some good doctors on my hands, and yes, I may not be want to be able to start dialysis right now. I'm kind of like in a denial, like, oh, I don't need it. But it's already getting to that point where, yeah, I do need it. You know, I do wish things were different, but, I mean, oh well, you know. Funny thing is that the surgery is going to be next Monday. Next Monday is my brother Joel's birthday. And if any of y'all know me, Joel's like, like that with me. So, I, mean, I don't want him to know, but whatever. I don't want him thinking that, oh, because Mel's having a surgery, you know, I should be bummed out on my birthday. No, Joe, have your birthday. Don't worry about me. Any other surgery I've ever been there, I'll always get through it. So, 